Hello, I'm Melody Hanna, Principal of Genesis Academy. I'm proud to bring this report today on Genesis' eighth year. We begin with congratulating the K-5 promotion class, and they are Tyler Cartwright, Cameron Bethel, Alexander Bronlick, Hassan Gibson, John Godet, Matthew Gomez, Jayla Mackey, Dahi Major, Caleb Peet, Miguel Smith, and Ethan Stewart. We also congratulate those graduating from elementary and moving on to high school. Three students from this class were among the original 14 students when we opened our doors in 2006, and they are Adrian Coakley, Benjamin Hall Dennis, and Zane Moxie. The others in that class are Joshua Bartlett, Tyler Newbold Chisholm, Leslie Smith, Haley Thompson, Tyler Williams, and Zion Williamson. This has been one of the most productive and rewarding years for Genesis, and that is largely due to the excellent teachers, administrators, and caregivers we are blessed with. Ms. Beryl Knowles, our Vice Principal, and my dearest friend, keeps her eyes fixed on quality control as we move this ship forward. She is the perfect model of professionalism and experience. She leads our Little Beginners program and our Kindergarten program and gives guidance and input into every major decision of Genesis. We are truly blessed to have such an accomplished educator to partner with in running this emergent school. Aside from her administrative oversight, Miss Knowles also teaches K-5. Having had her first child just before the reopening of the school year, Mrs. Knowles demonstrated just how talented she is by assisting from home in her duties as elementary coordinator. Mrs. Knowles also served as our sixth grade teacher. New to the staff is third grade teacher Ms. Julie Stewart and science teacher Mrs. Dana Weish. We are so fortunate to have these two gifted teachers added to our staff. Our returning teachers include our Little Beginners staff leader, Mrs. Akira Stubbs, teacher aides, Ms. Teresa Mackey, and Ms. Whitney Storr. Returning to the kindergarten program is Ms. Imana Fonseca and Ms. Kimberly Turquist. Returning to our elementary program is Ms. Elaine Pratt, Ms. Carly Allen, Mrs. Lucia Bassett, and Mrs. Kalish Joaquin. Ms. Tamron Burroughs has returned in her new role as Spanish teacher to the high school and elementary schools and grade four language arts teacher. We were very fortunate to have Mrs. Tamika Taylor return as a part-time high school teacher of social studies and religious education. We are also happy to have a group of truly gifted specialist teachers, including our swim instructor, Ms. Malika Chase, physical education instructor, Mr. Paul Wilson, art teacher, Mr. Derek Paul, and our Dean of Discipline and Fine Arts teacher, Pastor Leroy Hanna. We thank Mr. Giorgio Knowles for the fantastic job of keeping the school's business affairs in order. This has been a truly testing year for Genesis, but he brought us through it smoothly. New to the school staff is office assistant, Ms. Amanda Colley. Our school is kept exceptionally clean by our custodians, Mrs. Eva Elmi and Mrs. Cheryl Sweeting. I can say that these women work beyond the call of duty, and with their help, we are proud of the exceptional level of cleanliness at Genesis. We are very fortunate to be assisted behind the scenes with accounting services and financial guidance of the school by Mr. Greg Trico, who gives his services free of charge. Again, I tell you, it was a tough year, but the ingenuity of Mr. Trico, assisted by the vigilance of Mr. Knowles, guided Genesis through the rough patches. Also providing excellent service to the school since our doors opened in 2006 is Mr. Avery Lightborn, our Director of Entertainment. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for making Genesis a great place to be.
Before we enrolled our first student or hired our first teacher, the official grandparents of Genesis, Herbert and Marjorie Trico, were present, providing both moral and financial support. Genesis was floated largely through their efforts and they remain today as the primary spiritual advisors to the school. Grandma Trico was particularly close to the school and for eight years she assisted in the office, recorded parents' concerns and comforted our students with tenderness that comes from the heart of a grandmother. In October 2013, she retired her post as our office assistant. She served every day with excellence and her only reward was to see Genesis grow and become stronger. We thank you, Mrs. Trico, for weaving your love into the fabric of Genesis. In February 2013, we made the decision to expand to high school. We began an immediate search for an extension property. After tossing around and investigating several possibilities, the property right next to us became available. So in March of 2013, we met to inspect the building and it became immediately clear that we had an uphill battle to have it ready for a September opening. As impossible as it seemed, we were encouraged to move ahead. The first day we called on persons to show up, it was a flop in terms of numbers. But I will never forget the parents that showed up that day that inspired us to move forward. You see, they seemed oblivious to the fact that they were the only ones there and concerned themselves only with moving the plans forward. That song is true. It only takes a spark to get a fire going. It was as though God placed them there to remind us that the power of faith is not in what you see, but in whom you believe. I was reminded that in the seven years prior, we were tested time and time again. But in every case, God guided, protected, and delivered Genesis. We talk on the work in absolute faith, not knowing how we would get it done. We had no funds, but as my husband said to me, honey, that never stopped you before. Why concern yourself with that now? We were further affirmed when we took our plans to the parents of the 2013 graduating class, and the majority of those parents agreed to advance their children in the new Genesis High School. Your faith in us, combined with our faith in God, supplied us with the courage to proceed with Genesis 3, our new high school. The great lesson I learned from this school year is if you take one step in faith, God will supply everything you need to complete the journey. God gave us extraordinary accommodations by our landlords, and I wish to acknowledge and say a hearty thanks to Mr. Thomas Trico and the St. Matthew's Oversight Board. Then God sent us amazing persons skilled to move the building from this to this. I was happy to have my friend Johnny assist in the refurbishing of the new school. Because Johnny, while he played a reduced role in this refurbishment, he led in the building construction of Genesis 1 and Genesis 2. It seemed many days that the harder we worked, the more it seemed that we would never be ready to occupy the high school in time for the opening. We worked every day and weekend often until 3 or 4 a.m., only to get up again at 6 a.m. Again, God sent help in a young gifted worker, Mr. Martin Milkulsey. He became the star worker on Genesis 3. And when the history of Genesis is written, I will see to it that he is given prominent mention. Three weeks before the opening of school, God sent in the Calvary. Parents, teachers, Friends and family members showed up all to do the cleanup work. Last minute painting, replacement of furniture, and yard cleanup. I'm still dazed by the fact that we did it. But on opening day, we were ready to accept the first class into the Genesis High School. When I saw how beautiful and grown up our students looked in their new uniforms, 
I exhaled in a burst of praise to God. To you parents who showed up on every weekend for three weeks, Genesis will never forget your contribution. I pray that the seeds you've sown into Genesis will continue to produce great minds and even greater hearts to the glory of our God. In what has been a year filled with really tough challenges, many blessings occurred. I must thank our PTA for the outstanding role they played in advancing Genesis. Under the leadership of President Mrs. Allison Kelly and Vice President Dr. Sharita Moxie, they have taken on and successfully accomplished some very challenging tasks. I wish to say that if Genesis Academy is around 100 years from now, what you have done this year to encourage us would be a major factor in our success because you have been like fuel keeping the fire of Genesis burning. As we bring this eighth year of Genesis to an end, we close with a student body of 128, three individual but interconnected campuses that houses our early childhood, elementary and high schools. Two first place finishes in the E. Clement Bethel National Awards and again high place finishes in the inter-school Lego competitions. We feel the grace of God and us when we consider that only eight years ago we started with 14 students, three full-time staff members and one building. In years prior, my address at the annual commencement ceremony included a summary of the life of Genesis. We have grown to the place where it is no longer practical to make such a presentation at these exercises. However, upon our return in September, you will all be invited to hear and see the full account of the fabulous achievements and activities at Genesis over the past year. At that time, we will tell you why we were in Andrus twice. Our encounter with the dolphin, our Atlantis delivery, Genesis Radio 89.7 FM, the return of Omega as sports champions, the mini festival that rocked the Eastern Parade, the magician that with one word broke free of his chain, the princess that turned 50, the concert under the stars, and the stars that shine every day to keep Genesis a bright light high in the sky. Parents, we thank you for entrusting your children to us. I assure you that a Genesis education will not only mean that your children will be able to compete with the best in the world academically, but they will lead the world in character and compassion for all people. We have remained true to our mandate to provide a safe and clean environment for your child to grow in. A high level of student-parent communication to encourage strong partnership in the education of your children. A state-of-the-art learning environment to give every technical advantage to learning a highly stimulating internationally recognized curriculum aimed at creating lifelong learners and a progressive approach to learning led by a staff of inspired and motivated educators. We have a trust to keep with you. We have done our part and we ask you to stay true to your part in keeping Genesis as the place where great minds begin.